conscious expansion takes place based on disagreements. To expand consciousness, we have to be presented with ideas that we presently disagree with. Because really, conscious expansion is um, to move away from our concrete ideas, to expand from our concrete ideas. So if I don't agree with something today, consciousness is there to serve a new viewpoint with the objective of moving you out of your concrete belief. So when people disagree with me, that is a very good thing because um, they are in need of being presented with new information, with a new angle of perception. So quite often this is normal as a consciousness um, forerunner, if you will, as someone that presents new consciousness, they will run into a lot of resistance because those are the minds that have settled on agreements that need to be changed, need to be expanded. So this is changing my point of view. This is changing my consciousness, expanding my consciousness, not to be disturbed by the fact that people disagree with me. That's precisely why I'm doing what I'm doing, why I keep presenting new viewpoints, new ideas, day by day by day, because my consciousness is expanding day by day, literally. I change my mind from one day to the next. That's a good thing. You want to be in that expansive flow and not settle. And the wider, the more perspectives and the, the wider the angle of perceptions you can adopt, the easier it will be for you to get along with the world. Because you can accept, tolerate um, everyone's viewpoints from a place of neutrality, right? Because they're just points of consciousness along the linear line that keeps on expanding. So, yeah, I can maintain neutrality because I allow my mind to keep on expanding. I'm not settling on any concrete beliefs. And uh, that's the purpose of consciousness, to expand concrete things that we agree upon uh, and to push them through disagreement. Disagreement will uh, introduce a different viewpoint and which we then can either reject or accept. And that's how you either expand your consciousness or restrict your consciousness. So keep changing your mind as often as you can, as often as it happens. For me, it happens organically. Because I'm no longer afraid. I don't have the block on the inside, block of insecurity. I don't need anything to be concrete to find my footing and security in. Because, as you know, in my musings, I always say that I am God. Meaning, I am already everything. I don't have to attain to anything. So, in being everything, I am secure. And therefore, I can allow everything to be. And that makes sense. <laughs>